Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast for the round 2 Group D game between Zerpils and his Skaven and Ceramol and his Undead. You can see that these are very similar in colour, especially I guess with the kind of blizzard makes it even closer, so puts a bit of a tint on, we'll make these red and blue so it's easy. I can tell you that Ceramol is British and qualified through the <laughs> I could remember, I just knew what it was and now I've forgotten. Um, UK BBL. Okay, and Zerpils is Austrian and qualified through the B&T League, Road to the World Championship. And he's a PlayStation coach. Wow, there you go. And uh, we can look at the table here. This is after Gabias versus Slave Black Mage. So Zerpils is on a win, and so is Ceramon. So the winner will be pretty certain of qualification, and especially Zerpils, who's got three touchdowns in his game. So, yeah, I, I guess if Zerpils wins, he's almost certainly through, and if Ceramon wins, he's likely through. So there we go. Ah, German living in Austria. Ah. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> that that was that was what the uh, that was what the the you know the spreadsheet told me. So uh, it's it's not my fault. Errata, errata. <laughs> uh, but you know both have great schnitzel. So you know. <laughs> right. So Ceremol won the toss, chose to kick. He's got a couple of guard mummies. He's got. A tackle white, sure hands, wrestle block ghouls, so pretty standard and you know, somewhat of a toolkit versus rats. I and mean, I think undead do struggle versus the agility teams a bit, so it kind of makes sense to have the tackler, isn't it? Uh, the Skaven team is. Oh, he's only got one skill on the Storm Vermin. So this is. Okay, it's not actually pretty standard. I was going to say it's, this is pretty standardly like the Olivia Dulac version, but it's a bit different. We've got max rerolls, three rerolls plus leader. We've got the apples, so only 12 players. So it's a little bit light on players. And uh, the, the four skills you normally see on gutters are block, wrestle, strip ball, and sidestep. But this is a sprint. And I remember now watching his first game, I was thinking about how to side, sidestep him forward twice. And actually, oh, you only had to push him forward once because of sprint. So I was, being, I was being foolish in the first game, but now... Now I see he's he's sprint and uh, of course Juggernaut is normal and normally you see, well the Olivia de la builds a mighty blow on a guard and so we've we've dropped the second skill off the Skaven uh, Storm Vermin so there we go so this is this is all of this and uh, <laughs> right. Got an instant blockful block into a blockless block into casting your own player. No, only a stun, never lucky. A bit, uh, a bit exposed though, right? Maybe you should have blitzed there to, uh, you know, make use of Juggernaut and to get him to safety afterwards. I don't see where the blitz is going to be. Oh, maybe it would have been with a gap by the guy who he bit. <laughs> oh no, it's just a 1D blitz. Straight pow. I don't like the sprint, I prefer sidestep. Because the sidestep has some usage outside of purely the one turn, right? And actually some good usage, because it means it makes it harder for people to defend it um, with the frenzy means you can sidestep straight forward, so yeah, I, I, I prefer sidestep for having extra utility beyond the one turn, but I guess sprint is fine too, I guess it's fine, but yeah, sidestep, you know, you can you can use sidestep to play Blood Bowl, whereas sprint you can't, can you, sprint is just, this makes the one turn better, that's all it does, sidestep can deny other people's one turns and stuff. With, which you'll see with Olivia Duax 
team in the last stages, no doubt. So, not good by Ceramol that he left that mummy chain chain offable, which of course that is the thing that Zerpels did. Then he took a one D and scold. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm blitzing a rat ogre here and basing everything else. He's not blitzing the rogue. What are you doing? Honestly, I don't like. I do not like blitzing a clan rat with nothing. Either blitz a gutter with tackle, or blitz you know something on three dice with mighty blow, or blitz the rogue with mighty blow. Like probably the rogue right to stop the one turn, not stop it, but make it harder. But yeah, I don't like. I don't like that this turn. From Serumol. Oh. Throw her even further back. Roger chains away the mummy again. His poor mummy. Oh, but now he's going to get killed by the mummy. Rot oh. Maybe he should have had that spot filled first. Oh no, he's going to chain him back. Aha! Okay, well, there you go, perfect. Man, I hate it when Skaven rolls through his dodges. I actually just hate it. <laughs> and like, I know it should work 66% of the time. Well, 67. But it's like, you know, elves doing it with dodge and it working 97% of the time is a lot different to... Uh, Skaven line rats doing it on a 67. Wow. Suramol just hates this line rat in particular. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but something's happened. This line rat's done something in a previous life. And he just hates him. No, I would love that evil moves, yeah. Well, I mean, like, nobody does, right? Everybody does fail them 33% of the time. Every, everyone has not totally normal dice, and it all works out properly. The thing is, you just want them to fail every time because, you know, elf dodges are automatic and Axe 3 ones aren't. In the same way as every time you knock over an Amazon, you want to kill it because it's so hard to knock over an Amazon, or a Skink, or a Gutter Runner, or a War Dancer. They don't actually, they're not actually made of iron or anything. Oh, gets the pow. The first big man versus big man hit. And it leads to nothing. I hate how Saramal's used his mummy's honesty this game. He's allowed this one to be chained out constantly and he hasn't hunted the roger. I would have really liked to have just smashed the roger earlier. His blitz has just been this ghoul harassing a <laughs> harassing a, a line rat. <laughs> He's got a tackler, he could have he could have had a cheeky hit on a I mean, even just the not tackle could have just hit this gutter, right? I'd rather just hit this gutter with this guy. No, okay, he's done nothing to him, but... This guy could have gone and hit him. Do not like his block targets. But he's holding the space, you know, in front, isn't it? But of course... Zerpils has no desire to break through yet. He's just doing a Daka where, you know, up the field where things get punched. And punch back as well. But I mean, the things getting punched are just the odd, like he's not getting based, and he's just getting the odd guy punched by a ghoul. It's really weird.
feel like if Ceremony just proper gone in hard or taken out the rogue or something, done something rather than just stand around in front of him. Well, here we go. Now he's putting pressure on, but it's turn five, right? It's turn five, and it's just uh, the gutters are probably just going to run away now. <laughs> They tend to. Not that, you know, not that Saramol's played bad or anything. He just hasn't played good, I think, is the way that I'd say it. Like, you know, and it's like a bit uninspiring, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's not. I just don't like. I don't really like anything he's done. <laughs> This is okay though, stranded these three up here. These guys are cut off a bit. Apart from being skaven, so we'll put them so they can just run around. I guess he's gonna one D. Yeah. Yeah, the one D just completely solidifies this, doesn't it? It's the problem. One D pal, Bosch, and KO'd. And like, honestly, Ceremol has had ample opportunity to nail that Roger and has just not showed any interest in hitting him. And now the Roger's removed him on me. Wow, re rolling this one D. I guess it is turn six. Tackle is stunned. Oof. Now all this kind of positioning is just like uh, my pawn's got got a runners. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Lose, I guess. No, he does get a one day here though with a wrestle and gets a full pal into the crowd maybe. Picks it up. Oh my goodness. And a rush in the snow. And another rush in the snow. Okay, that was pretty great. <laughs> that was a pretty great spot that there was this three wide screen, which I thought, like, funnily enough, right, I saw the three. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'll just go. I need a minute. I did see this as a three-man screen, but I thought it, it, it doesn't matter. This is a three-wide screen. There's nothing that can get it. But look, he did the he did the four-plus dodge off. He did spot the gate dodge, and get it. There you go. Great spot by Saramol. I'm not emotional. I just started choking. <laughs> it was a great, great play from Saramol. Great spot. And uh, the problem is he's been banged out by rats, hasn't he? He's two men down. And uh, this is just an easy, easy sack. Strippers there. We don't make it a 2D. Oof. Goes into the crowd. Oh my god, disgusterous. Turn seven, potato time. <laughs> and then a 1D there. Oh, and now. The super reliable Roger. Oh, he gets to eat this guy. 
and cusses him. <laughs> but actually it worked, right? He needed him there. He absolutely needed him there. So there you go. I mean, he could have just done all this other stuff as well, but... There you go. Incredible. Incredible. And a 4-4-3, but 4-5, oh god, he cast himself. Probably shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And now this ghoul gets served. And he scores. And he's been heavily outbashed by rats. Oh man. What a disaster. Yeah, yeah, the only dead rat was the rogue, yeah. Four removals for the Skaven. <laughs> Solid D. I mean, there was no one turn attempts in the snow with movement seven and edge three, I think. I think not attempting the one turn is absolutely correct. Gonna foul. It's a bit risky with uh, two players out. I actually, hmm. So it's only a lineman. But you've got to get both KOs back. I, I, I would not have made that foul. Like, I'm just never confident I'll get my KOs back or, or not get sent off. For a line rat, no. If it was a gutter of a roger. But I don't like taking that risk for a line rat. And as it happens, now he's only got 10 players. 10 versus 11. Not a blitz. Unbelievable, Jeff. It's uh, the sprint. Get stunned. Removal, instant. Again, hate this. I can't stop saying how much I hate this kind of thing, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So put the tackler here. He's much more relevant if things happen. And uh, and he's where you'll want him to be. Anyway. I think that has to be correct, putting him where I'd put him. <laughs> Of course, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. <laughs> Nobody should think they are, though, should they? Otherwise, they'd be willfully doing the wrong thing. <laughs> ah, he catches the ball, so obviously it was the correct move. It's a very bad spot, and it was only it was only a twelve-man team, and he started the second half with eleven. Yeah. Getting out bashed by rats is bad. Bad times. Look, he got the mummy back, to be honest. It's 
Oh, come on, Suramol. 3D the gutter and then blitz Kaz the Rolga. I believe in you. I 3D'd with the tackle. It's a little bit dangerous, right? Because of the. Um, Oh, because of the wrestle. It's the power. Yeah, founding this guy, much better, right? Cars, lovely. Love this foul. works no it's not I'm not biased against rats at all not at all oh the uh, maybe the chat is but you know everyone hates rats Has his own player? No. Push. This isn't all one D, isn't it? Yeah, it was got to be a mistake that he didn't have another player. Eh? But avoids death. Oh wow! He actually avoided. He avoided injury because Mighty Blow was switched off because it was his turn, so he, the, the mummy didn't have Mighty Blow, right? Mighty Blow only works in your own turn now. So, wow. Huge. Huge reprieve. That's another removal. Okay, now, now, now the undead are rolling. They've just got to be sensible and uh, not allow this rat ogre into their cage. <laughs> Which they've gone dangerously close to. Another removal. I obviously gonna foul him, right? And it's a Kaz. Whoa. There we go. Completely worth that guy getting sent off. Now. Ceremon looking pretty good for the draw by just removing massive amounts of rats. Or are we just coming in for the strip? 3 5, uphill, re roll. Oh, skulls. Okay, now you have a new guy to foul. Ah, the problem is you want to get rid of this guy because you don't need to yet. He's got so few rats left. Yeah, you have to fo you have to foul this guy. You have to. No, I don't like that. I I want to keep him here, so that um, like I know this gives him three D on each one, but I want to keep him for the assist. Oh, now you can't even foul. Well, I mean, you have to foul. You just literally have to. Yeah. Injured. Oh, my God. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> sent off, though. <laughs> he's, get he's getting as many sent off as he's causing. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Mm. Okay, okay, we start with the uphill into the 1D against the full pow. Needs a lot of luck with a scatter though. Doesn't really get it, but might. I mean, you've still got to go for it, I guess. Eh? Flip me. 
flip me, get ratted, all that, all that hard work, all the good skaven removed, and then the linemen just go, no. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. Come on. <laughs> I mean, and funnily enough, right, if he hadn't done that turn 8 foul and he had one more zombie on the pitch, maybe that one zombie gets in the way and stops that uphill into 1D. And there are a lot of undead in this comp, yeah, 12, 12 undead out of 64 teams. Very popular. The most popular team. No, no, the first one, the first one in turn eight, he was sent off, wasn't he? And then he uh, rolled a six on one of the other ones. But it doesn't matter. He got sent off three times and rolled a six once. So if he hadn't fouled on turn eight, it would have been one less. Foul, right? We'd be one less sent off. The last one stayed on. Yeah, so exactly. So the, f the f one on turn eight, right? If he hadn't fouled with it, he'd have had an extra player on the pitch. The, the last one he had to foul, because it, it was the strip baller. But it was the one on turn eight that he probably shouldn't have fouled with. I like fouling gutter runners. I do not like fouling line rats, especially when you might. Not. I mean, different again. Different if you he was guaranteed if he was guaranteed eleven men for the second half. Absolutely foul. Now again, I'm talking turn eight, Lepeg. Turn eight, the turn eight foul. I didn't like this foul. He had to foul because it was a strip baller. Now he could have positioned everything else differently. But he absolutely had to foul. He had to foul the uh, the strip baller. I mean, it's your it's your civic duty as a blood bowl coach. <laughs> you oh my god, he does a snow rush. Yeah, the base in front. Yeah, it wasn't good. And he goes for the score. So he's, yeah, yeah, I mean, he has to do it right to try and draw two two. Great stuff. Great stuff from Ceremon. Does exactly what he had to do. Give himself the slimmest chance. Yeah, fair enough. Fair, I, I really hate it. I, 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 you know, as I say, if, if, like, if you were guaranteed to have 11 men, 100% foul. If you're not guaranteed to have 11 men, 100% not foul is the, is the way I look at it. But uh, it is frustrating not hurting any rats. And the fact that he was captain 11 meant that if you removed it, it was doing something. But I don't know. I feel like just having bodies on the pitch is, is good, right? Tilted. It do be like that. Oh, I, I can't believe that I didn't even look at my opponent's defensive setup. I just thought I'm gonna dacker and dack it, and he, I could have just surfed instantly. Oh dear. This is quite good, isn't it? This is like you know, this is a really good thing when your opponent has to score against you because you like. I mean, you, you could have full dacked, but instead of getting everything based but it's pretty good because you can fall back or you can go around and you've got a lot of options haven't you having guns in the middle like this oh. makes the uh, blizzard rush Oh, doesn't make the second dodge. 
get stunned. There's a free rat up here, but it's not doing anything yet. Freeze up the other one. <laughs> Getting out bashed by rats is pretty tragic, to be fair. Ooh, I hate that. I would have definitely moved this guy here. But, like, it doesn't matter, does it? Like, it's not actually worse because the people that can get... Well, this one can get there. But he could get either side. So no, I, I was totally wrong and this was better. I was totally wrong and this was better. You never can, yeah, yeah, you never can. It's they're just annoying, aren't they, rats? Rats are an annoying team, honestly. Like, they just seem so unfair when they outbash you. And they're not that unlikely to outbash you, really, are they? Like, you know, they've got the strength access blitzers, a big guy, fowlers. Like, they're way more like, I mean, not, not in NAF, right? They don't have as much in NAF, but like in normal games, they're way more likely to outbash you than like elves are. And anyway, a 3-1 win for Zerpils. So, you can look at the table. Um, I don't have the updated one, but this is how it was. So that with six touchdowns for Zerpils in two games, um, the chance of... Gabias winning and scoring four um, is pretty unlikely, isn't it? So we can safely say that Zerpels is qualified for the knockout stage. Suramol with a win and a loss is going to be very interesting to see who out of Gabias and Suramol joins Zerpels in the knockout stage. So there you go. Congratulations, Zerpels. Commiserations, Suramol. Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.